this video we are going to see the difference between static and non-static properties and methods when to use static method when not to use static method and why we use static and a non-static approach and which is better which is not so let's get started so here i have a class of uh, named car and i'm including this test class .php here on the top of this HTML index.php. So here we are going to uh, do the code. So before that, I'm going to create a property here. So I'm going to say private, or let's uh, simply do the public so that we can uh, use those. So I'm going to create here dollar name, and by default, I'm going to leave it empty. Then I say public uh, static dollar model. All right, and up to the uh, after this, we are going to create a dollar uh, public function. We call details. All right, this is the function. Now, uh, the main difference is that when we are going to create the class object, so we are going to do this. So we have the class called. Uh, the file included on the top so I can use here and here I'm going to say uh, new car and then I want to say here dollar car all right so here when I say var underscore dump and I'm going to put dollar car in so here I'm just putting the object of this class straight away into it so here when I go and refresh uh, I need to go to the main page so I refresh here so we get name uh, null so if you notice here here we said name and model and then the function so if you notice in the browser we have the name which is null we don't have any value set to it but we don't have the model so that is static and we are dealing with an object currently and that's something that when you instantiate, when you have a class and you instantiate it, so you don't get the access to static properties. Now, if you, uh, let me show you an example here. So we can see that the currently we don't have static properties showing up here. And the point is we, if we don't have it here, so we can cannot access it. So for example, if I try to say here, model, uh, let's let's call name first. So I'm going to save this. Go here and refresh. Uh, currently, this null. Let's set it to something. Uh, I say Roger, and let's set the model to uh, let's say two zero one nine. Save this. Now here uh, we need to get the name. Now if I say here model. Um, we are not going to get it as it is not present in the object we get accessing static property uh, as a non-static so we can't access it straight away if I remove the static word from here and then I try to get it I'm going to get it without any issue so we get the model straight away now it's, it's completely uh, uh, vice versa when if we deal with uh, static so for example if I say here static and I want to access the model. So whatever we need to do, I don't need to instantiate a class in that case. So the main difference between static and non-static properties is for non-static properties and function uh, methods, you will be creating an insta instance of a class and then you will be dealing with an object, all right? Now in case of the static, you don't need to create an object you're going to deal with the class directly so in that case you simply call the class name and you just put uh, this scope resolution operator and then you say model that's it and you can print it even so as a var underscore dump all right so here and I need to pass dollar in this case. That's the basic difference. So I'm gonna save this. Now if I go to browser, refresh, uh, we need to save this file. So I go here back, 
and refresh. So we have it here. Now, in case you want to or try to access non-static values uh, using this way, then you again going to face the problem. So here, if I say instead of dollar model, I say here dollar name. So as it is not static, we are going to get an error. So it's, you cannot access it straight away. So this is the main difference here when uh, as according to the definition and according to the usage, if you want to use a static method or a static property, you will be using scope resolution per operator. Now we can, uh, if we, for example, if I need to use this and name, uh, uh, sorry, the model as it is static, and inside this function, generally we say return dollar uh, name. And this refers to this class and then name, right? So this is when you deal with non-static. Now, in case of static, you will have to call it this way. You will have a, you will say return. A new line, sorry about that. Here I'm gonna say self. Now, this dollar, dollar this is referring to this class in the same way self is referring to this class. But the main thing changed is to access the static, we need to use this way. So here you can call the model, so dollar model. All right. Now, for example, if you have a parent class, so if you, then you want to print it, the only difference is going to be instead of self is going to be parent. So in that case, it's going to be this way. Currently, we have this only class, so we just, I'm just going to comment this one, and I'm going to call this function so that we can see. Now here, this is non-static function, so I'm going to call it a non-static way. So I'm just going to say here, uh, dollar car, and then the function. And as we are returning value there, so it's not going to do, uh, show us anything. So we need to put echo here, and I'm going to comment this one. And let's see. Now go refresh the page. We get the model. So you get you getting it using self here. So this is the basic uh, rule. Always remember when you're dealing with static, you're dealing with directly with the class. You don't need to create any object or anything. You just simply can access the properties and methods, uh, but you cannot access non-static properties and non-static methods. And in case uh, when you are uh, instantiating a class in a non-static way, then you cannot access static uh, using an object. Now we can even call this function in static way as well. So for that, we just say public. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to comment this one out. Or let me copy this first. And I'm going to co comment this one out. And here I say public static function. And now this is a static function. So to see to the output of it, we can say here echo, and then we need to say uh, the class. So here we say car, and then the function. So it's a get vehicle details. All right, that's a function. So we need parentheses. Now we don't need the uh, object, and I save this, and here I save this. Now let's go to browser and refresh, we still got 2019. So you can see that if you're dealing with static methods, you can uh, call static methods like this. Now, when to use static and when to use non-static. So for example, in this class, uh, if I have, uh, let's me comment this one, and I uncomment this one. So for example, in this class, I have this function and maybe let's say I have four or five more functions and I want to get access to all those functions and those functions are non-static so it's a better approach to create an object and use it object because through object I can access all those functions I cannot get this uh, function this uh, uh, property currently it's not much so for example if I have here like two or three non-static and uh, here I have set maybe or here I have 
something update so if I need the uh, access to these functions in my functionality so obviously I'm going to go for our non static method because through object I can access these uh, methods now if I am going to use static uh, then these function needs to be static otherwise I cannot access these so depending on your code uh, what how you're coding and mainly in application you will see non static methods more used more and it's ba considered better uh, in many developers so it's basically the way your code is written and the application you're working on uh, that uh, tells uh, which to use even the static or non-static